my people class i'm again back with yet another top another lesson but still under growing crops that's a topic and our, our lesson today is going to be crop pests remember last time we talked about um we talked about crop diseases but today we are looking at crop pests number one um well, before we, we continue, we should look at the work that we did last time. And the question was, mention of any one disease that attacks crops. One, I have given you a bacterial blight and Panama disease. Do you have cigar end rot? Mark it. Do you have cassava mosaic? Mark it. Do you have uh, uh, sweet potato blight? Mark it. Okay? Put a tick. But check the spelling, not just mark because... That because I'm not there. If you mark something wrong, you will continue with it in your brain and you think it is right, but it will be wrong. Okay? So check the spelling. And another thing uh, is uh, give two ways you can identify diseases in the crops by mere looking at the crops. Mere looking at the crop. How can you identify? One, we discussed and we said drying of the leaves, rotting of the roots. And then uh, we can also talk about wilting. If a, if a plant wilt, when the leaves turn yellow, those are some of the signs you can tell by mere looking at the crop. Another one we talked about, um, another, another question is, state any one way you can control diseases in the garden. How can you control diseases in the garden? One, by crop rotation. What about you? What have you written? How does crop rotation control diseases? Now, this, this crop rotation can it breaks the life cycle of pests. And we say the pests can spread the diseases. So when you carry out crop rotation, you will control diseases. Two, how does the spraying control diseases in the crops? One, spraying kills the pests that spread disease germs. Are we there? So let's look at crop pests. What do I expect from you? That's a learning outcome. One, you'll explain the term crop pests. Two, you'll give examples of crop pests. Three, you'll define the term crop rotation. You'll talk about the importance of crop rotation. Okay? Because it is one of the ways of controlling soil erosion, of, of controlling crop pests. And by the way, soil erosion. So we shall talk about it in its... Uh, okay, when time comes. Then, eh, um, what are crop pests? Crop pests are organisms, all living organisms that destroy crops. That destroy crops. Living organisms that destroy crops are called pests. Don't mix up with vectors in humans or animals. Vectors spread disease germs. Whereas, crop, whereas pests destroy crops. Now, where do they destroy crops? They can destroy these crops when the, the crops are in the, in the garden as well as in the granaries or stores. Are we there, my children? Yes. Let's proceed and see. Ah, let's give examples of oh, crop pests. Now, we have what you call field pests. And then storage pests. Now, field pests are, are pests that attack crops in the gardens. Field pests attack crops in the gardens. That's why they are saying field, okay, in the gardens. Or when the crops are still in the field. Well, I'm not meaning a playing field. I'm meaning the, those places where they, they grow their crops. Okay? Then... And the storage pests, those are pests that attack crops in the stores or granaries or silos, okay? So what are they? One, the field pests, those are that attack in the, field, in the fields or the gardens, rats, monkeys, squirrels, caterpillars. We have birds, sweet potato weevils, and then moles, okay? Those ones are called field pests. Why are they called field pests once again? They attack crops in the gardens. Two, storage pests. 
Those ones like attacking stored crops. And what are they? We have bean weevils, maize weevils, and then rats. Those ones can destroy crops when they are in the stores. Are we there? Follow me up and you'll understand. And uh, we shall look at the common crop pests. And those are, we have uh, one, we have a rat. We have rats. Have a rat here. Have a squirrel. The one which has, it looks like a, a rabbit or a rat, but it has a bigger tail, which is hairy. Then another one, uh, bean weevils. Yeah, you can see them destroying beans. Then we have monkeys. Monkeys are pests, by the way. Monkeys are pests because they like uh, common, they like maize. They like uh, the root crops like cassava. They can uproot and sit down and eat properly. And you reach the garden and say, eh, which thieves entered the garden? Those were the what? The monkeys. Then the two, um, the other one is uh, birds. Birds are very good pests, mostly for cereals. Millet, rice, um, maize, they can affect them by eating up their fruits. And uh, then, effects of pests, of crop pests, what do the pests cause? What's the danger of pests in the gardens? One, they lead to crop, to, uh, they, they lead to low crop yields. They lead to low crop yields. Now, they, they, they lower the crop yield. And then two, they destroy the crops. They destroy the crops. Three, they damage the leaves, roots, uh, uh, they damage the leaves and roots of, uh, of the crops. They damage them. They eat up the leaves like the caterpillars when they enter the bean garden. They'll destroy them. They, they'll eat up the leaves. And when you know that the leaves are very important because they, they make food for the plant. Therefore, when they, they are eaten up by the caterpillars, these crops again cannot make food. So they are, they are not good in the garden. And they, last, they spread diseases to, to the crops. You remember what I told you at the beginning? On the, in the first lesson, I, I told you that, the, that the crop pests can lead to can, can spread disease, disease germs to crops. So that is, uh, those are some of the effects. What am I saying? One, they lead to, crop, to low crop yield. Two, they destroy the crops. Three, they damage the leaves and roots of, uh, of crops. And uh, finally, they spread diseases to the crops. Are we there? That's good. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, ways of controlling... Uh, Ways of controlling uh, crop, crop pests. One. One is that by crop rotation. What can we carry out? Crop rotation. Two. Planting clean parts of a plant. Planting clean parts of the plant. Meaning, look at the, 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 the parts which are not infected with a disease. And then plant them. Like I, I remember when I was telling you about, uh, about diseases, I said, look for that plant which is not infected, and then you plant it. Then another is alley weeding. Weed the crops in the alleyway, okay? As early as possible. Don't wait. Using scarecrows. Use scarecrows, okay? Some things, you can put something that can scare away the pests. Like uh, last time we, we, we met... We, uh, a certain uh, neighbor of mine made a, made a scarecrow and put in his maize garden. So when, at night, when the thieves, when the, the maize were ready, the thieves tried to come into the garden. But what happened is that this, 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 this guy entered the maize garden and he saw something which was dressed in white. Now, the first, he, he, he plucked off, it was at night, at, like at seven, he plucked off one, one maize cob. Now, as he plucked like this, to turn like this, he saw somebody, as if there's something standing in the what? In the maize garden. 
Ha, what happened? The man who got scared and he took off. He ran and he got a hole. There, there was a, a, a hole somewhere, a trench. The man fell into a hole and he, into a trench and, and broke his leg. Just a scarecrow, not a real person. But when this person reached, uh, he, he broke his leg, but he tried to walk slowly, limping up to when he reached his home. The following day, he came back to see who chased him. He saw a, 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 a scarecrow. So a scarecrow is very important in the garden. Even the birds fear, fear it. The moment the wind blows like this, all birds run away. Okay? Another thing is uh, um, spraying the crops with the pesticide to kill the pests. You spray with pesticides to kill the pest. And then you set up traps. Set up a trap. Okay? You remember the other story where, 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 where Mr. Hare used to, where Mr. Hare used to, to, to steal the crops for Mr. Hyena. So Mr. Hyena one day set a trap, dug a hole, and put some grass on top. So after this, Mr. Hare coming to steal, put everything in the basket. When he put in the basket like this, he started moving. As he moved, he stepped in the trap. So he fell in the pit. Fell in that hole. So Mr. Haina came and said, Aha, I've got you. You've been stealing my crops. So what method did Mr. Haina use? He used a trap. Set a trap and this man was captured very well. Okay? Ah, this is interesting. Another one is by removing and burning affected plants. Now, when you see a, a banana which, is, which has been affected, just remove it and burn it. Remove, let them dry, burn everything. Okay? Then, um, uh, we can look at uh, an activity that I have prepared for you, and you are going to write it very well, neatly. And I'm going to come back and go through with you. But as I said, some, some, some children don't want to write the activity. They wait for the teacher to do corrections. I told you that when you, do, when you first write the work and wait for the teacher's response, you learn more than dodging, okay? Good work I, is expected. Thank you for learning with me.